Greetings, Washington Township community. This is your proud superintendent of schools, Dr. Woodson, and I am thrilled that you have taken time to review this presentation that will give you information about our planning for the future efforts. We can't begin planning for the future without stopping and recognizing where we are as a school system first. So the first part of the information we're gonna share is an update on where we are as Washington Township Schools. The second part, we will acknowledge the 2016 referendum efforts. And the last part, we will look at planning for future success of our schools. As we begin, the picture that you see here is the structure of our school district. You will see five divisions listed that I oversee as superintendent. And then at the top, you will see the school board who oversees me as superintendent. In all five divisions, we have 1,500 staff represented and all of our schools represented in this leadership structure. You have details here, but this is also represented on our website if you would like more information. All of the staff persons pictured in the division leader sections will be helping me with today's presentation along with our school board president, Mr. Fensel. We are so proud of our schools in Washington Township. We wanted to share with the community some data on our schools, however, as you may not realize how comprehensive our schools are. We have over 11,000 students and over 1,500 staff who support those students every single day. We have 15 school facilities and six support facilities that make up over 2.3 million square feet of facilities that we oversee. And we are proud of our continual efforts with our district-wide international baccalaureate for all students in all schools. As an urban school district in Marion County, we serve a very diverse population of students, which is represented on this slide. I encourage you to take a moment and look at the diverse needs that we serve every single day. We are proud of our diversity and it makes our school community very rich. In addition to our over 11,000 students, we have 1,500 staff members who support them every day. The large majority, as you can see on this chart, of staff members we have are teachers and support staff who directly support our work with teaching and learning in the classroom. Washington Township is extremely proud of the hard work and achievements of our students and staff. You can see many of our academic accomplishments listed below. Our students scored fourth highest in Marion County on the new iLearn assessment. Based on our recent NWEA assessment, our students have demonstrated the highest achievement growth since we started the assessment four years ago. 85% of our third graders demonstrated mastery on the iRead 3 assessment. North Central's graduation rate is 90%. That's wonderful. More than 1,100 students are enrolled in advanced placement classes at North Central. Washington Township students are extremely well-rounded and are also participating in international baccalaureate exhibition and personal projects every year. Washington Township is a public school district and thus we serve all students that walk through our doors. With serving all students, we offer an array of student services to meet the needs of our very diverse learners in our district. Our special services division is inclusive of special education, English as a new language, and also offers high ability services. We are very proud of our dual language immersion program that is currently offered at Willow Lake Elementary School for kindergarten students. Each building has the support of a social worker and a mental health provider to address the social and emotional needs of all students. Our J. Everett Light Career Center serves 1,730 students, offering 25 career-related programs. Our alternative programs in the district are available at our True North Academy, and our Opportunity Transition School serves middle school and high school students. The North Central Learning Center is available to all high school students throughout the year by providing tutoring and small group instruction. 
every student has access to an individual technology device to enhance their learning experience and after school enrichment activities are abundant to students throughout the district. Now that you have heard about our schools, our students, and our staff, we want to pause and acknowledge the work from the 2016 referenda support from our community. We are appreciative of the positive support shown at the polls in November for the future success of Washington Township Schools. You supported additional staff for our schools as well as maintaining our current staff. In addition, $185 million worth of construction and renovations for our new schools, which included two brand new schools. Specific to the operating referendum that was supported by our community, we made commitments prior to your vote that $4 million would support us maintaining our current staff levels to better serve students. In addition, we promised 2.5 million of additional staff and with those funds, we were able to place a social worker in every school, as well as staff the eighth elementary school. Thanks to the 2016 operating referendum, we were able to hire social workers for every building. These hardworking individuals have worked tirelessly to help our students and families access community services to meet their needs. With operating referendum funds, we were also able to hire a district social and emotional behavior coach who's been able to teach our students about their brains and self-regulation and guide teachers with brain compatible teaching strategies. Lastly, we used funds from the 2016 referendum to hire some of the teachers at the new Willow Lake Elementary School. Specific to our 2016 construction referendum that the community supported, we made commitments prior to your vote that the $185 million would be put towards improvements and renovations at our currently open schools, as well as construct two new elementary schools to relieve overcrowding. We are pleased to maintain our commitments that we made to the community, as well as acknowledge and support diverse professional partners. In July 2019, we were excited to have the ribbon cutting ceremonies at two new elementary schools here in Washington Township, Clearwater Elementary on the east side of our school district and Willow Lake Elementary on the west side of our school district. You can see here featured in our pictures of inside and outside of the school that they are beautiful learning environments for our staff and students. The newly constructed buildings were designed to have larger spaces for student collaboration in large group instructional areas. Flexible seating offers students the capability to have choice in their classrooms as well as in the activity commons. Small group spaces are included in each grade level neighborhood so students can work outside of their classrooms with different individuals. The playgrounds offer students different styles of ADA accessible equipment. Vibrant natural light shines into every learning area. The infrastructure supports new technology that is accessible to the teaching staff and students. Students love and enjoy the updated designs in their new schools. Currently under construction, we have West Lane and Eastwood Middle Schools. Featured here are design renderings which should make those school communities very excited about the future renovations coming to those schools. Please pardon our dust during construction, but you can see we have beautiful environments headed your way. In addition, Allisonville Elementary is currently under construction. They have relocated as a student population to John Strange for this current school year. We're excited about the future renovations coming to the Allisonville school community. And in design process right now, we have Cricket Creek and Spring Mill Elementary, which will begin construction this school year. If you didn't see or hear your particular school community mentioned, you still have renovations from the 2016 commitments from the construction referendum coming your way. This is the master schedule of all of the renovations district-wide to all school facilities that are planned. 
We realize this chart has a lot of information on it, therefore you are welcome to go to the link at the bottom of the slide to see details of when construction and renovations are coming to a school or school community near you. Washington Township Schools has been engaged in the community input and feedback process since the summer of 2018. As you can see on this slide, we've provided many opportunities for a diverse group of stakeholders to provide us feedback in order to plan for the future. Recently, we've received the results of our online community survey where over 1,500 respondents provided feedback to the district. We are gathering and synthesizing all of this feedback in order to make recommendations on the future of Washington Township Schools. As we take vital input we have received during this past year from our community and look at the future needs for staff and facilities for Washington Township Schools, we can't do that without first critically reviewing the school budget. Let's talk a little bit more about how state and taxpayer supported funds. The first two funds you've already dealt with in your budget activity, which is the education fund and the operations fund. In the buckets, you see the kind of expenses that are in, that those two funds pay for in, term, in supporting education in Washington Township. The other three buckets, the first one is the operating referendum fund, and that's where the operating dollars from the referendum that was passed in 2016 by the voters in Washington Township, the revenue from that referendum goes into that fund. And that's used mostly to pay for staff, you know, staff wages and benefits. The bucket next to it is a debt service fund, and that is how we pay uh, back any, any bonds that have been issued by the district or lease payments or any loans that we may have outstanding. And then finally, the referendum debt service fund is the blue bucket, and that pays the, the bonds that have been issued from the 2016 project referendum that was in the amount of $185 million. So what's been happening to the loss of funding in the past 10 years for Washington Township? Back in, when the recession was in full swing around 2010, the state of Indiana cut $300 million from, the, from it, public education. That affected Washington Township in the amount of about $3 million per year. And that $3 million or $300 million statewide has never been restored to public education. More specifically, Washington Township has lost nearly $42 million in funding over the past 10 years. $32 million of that loss has come from changes in the state funding formula. The complexity index, which is a component of the funding formula, has changed significantly over the past five to six years, and collectively Washington Township has lost $32 million in that period of time. In addition to that, there was change in state tax policies where property tax caps or circuit breaker credits were put in place for homeowners in Washington Township and the, and the rest of the state of Indiana. As a result of property tax caps, the homeowners save money on their property taxes. However, that translates into a loss of revenue for Washington Township schools. For the last 10 years, we've lost about $10 million due to property tax caps in Washington Township. Washington Township is a very diverse urban school district that should be funded at the level that recognizes our needs. And over the past five years, due to the complexity changes in the complexity index, which I mentioned previously, Washington Township has lost $574 per student per year. How does that compare to our neighbors to the north, for instance, at Carmel and Hamilton Southeastern? Their losses are, are estimated to be $65 and $196 per student, respectively considerably less than Washington Township's $574 loss per student. Over the past five years, Washington Township's funding has increased approximately 5.69% in total, and we are a highly complex district. For low complexity districts like Carmel and Hamilton Southeastern, their funding has increased 13.5% and almost 12%. Those differences recognize the loss in complexity dollars in Washington Township whereas the losses for complexity in suburban school districts like Carmel and Hamilton Southeastern are much, much lower. So many people have asked the question, how did our facilities get in the condition they're in and will the 2016 referendum cover all facility needs? 
Many of the school buildings in Washington Township were built in the 1950s and 1960s when Washington Township Schools was first formed. Somewhere in the, around the mid-1980s, there was a cosmetic renovation done in many of our schools, but not an awful lot of work since then. Today, we have a, a capital projects dollars that are embedded within our operations fund, but there are many fixed and annual fixed costs that use those dollars and leaves very little money to do anything in the way of significant improvements to our facilities. Also, starting in 2003, there have been two operating referendums previously approved by the voters of Washington Township. Both of those refer operating referendums, one in 2003 and another in 2010, were tax neutral, which means that we had a, a tax rate in the capital projects fund lowered to offset the increase in the tax rate for the operating referendum. That was a choice made by the school district for the voters of Washington Township, and that decision saved the property taxpayers in Washington Township $75 million over a 14-year period. However, that $75 million was also not available to help maintain and improve our facilities. In 2016, the construction referendum that was approved by the voters will address many of the classroom and school needs, but it will not address all of our school facility needs in order to sustain Washington Township for the next 20 to 30 years. What funding options does a school district have when it comes time to do major renovations to existing facilities or to build brand new schools? As I stated earlier, there are some capital dollars in the operations fund, but not at a sufficient level to ever do major renovations to existing facilities or build a brand new school. So districts need to look for alternative sources of funding. The only alternative source that's available to provide the kind of capital needed to do the projects that are, that are necessary in Washington Township would be a construction or capital referendum. Once a referendum is decided on to go forward with the public, then it's left to the voters in Washington Township to decide if they want to approve that referendum. If it is approved, then bonds can be sold to raise the necessary capital to do those renovations and, and construction projects. When a school district feels that their wage and benefit packages are no longer competitive with neighboring school districts, they want to give people increases in pay and improved benefits available for our staff. We only have a few options in order to make that, make that happen. One option would be to reduce staff. Unfortunately, if you reduce staff, you could reallocate the wages for those employees to pay the current employees more dollars. However, for instance, with a, a group of teachers, that could easily result in significantly larger class sizes, which is an unfavorable outcome. The other option is to pass a, an operating referendum. We currently have an operating referendum, but we've gotten to the point in Washington Township where we feel that we have wages and benefits that are less competitive, and it's necessary for us to ask the voters to support a higher operating referendum so we are able to keep quality staff. We currently have, we want to maintain quality programs, keep our highly qualified teachers and staff, and provide safe transportation for all of our students. So why are school referendums needed now when they haven't always been? The process changed in 2008, requiring schools to seek referendum from, referendums from their communities. We're not alone in doing this. Most of the school districts in Marion County either ha already have referendums in place or will be seeking referendums in the near future. We will provide the residents of our community an option that reflects their input, is fiscally responsible, and that ensures that our district can prepare this and future generations for the educational, employment, and public service opportunities of the future. Based on the school budget information you just heard about and our planning for the future efforts, we have identified some future staff and facility needs that we would like to educate the community on. In Washington Township, we know our outstanding staff is our greatest asset. Based on this, we constantly evaluate the makeup of our staff and the compensation that we offer. Over the course of the last year, we've conducted staff surveys, gathered community input, worked hand in hand with our teachers association, and have worked with an independent consultant to evaluate our staffing. Based on our desire to support our students and remain a competitive employer in our area, the board has identified the following staff priorities. Our first identified priority in the area of staffing 
is to be sure that the funding from our current operating referendum continues. As was mentioned earlier in this presentation, our current operating referendum funds multiple positions in the township that are important for our students. If the current operating referendum is not renewed, MSDWT would face some very difficult staffing decisions over the course of the next few years. Failure to renew our current operating referendum would result in eventually needing to eliminate 50 to 60 teaching positions, two to four administrative positions, and 15 to 20 classified positions from across the township. We believe that these jobs are critical to student success, and this is why we have made renewing our current operating referendum a priority. In working with an independent consultant, we were able to get a clear picture of our compensation relative to surrounding districts and discovered that the overall compensation for our staff needs to be a high priority for us. In many, many cases, our salaries and benefits are not comparable to those in surrounding areas, and this will eventually hinder our ability to recruit highly effective staff in all areas. As a result, we are prioritizing a compensation increase for all of our teaching and classified staff in order to remain competitive. This includes raises for every teacher and every classified staff member. In addition, we also identified administrative positions that were not competitive with surrounding school districts. However, as you can see from the graph, we prioritize raises for all teachers and classified staff over administrative increases. We have also engaged in a great deal of work with our teachers and our community to identify additional staffing that can enhance the experience of all Washington Township students and keep our schools performing at a high level. Based on this broad-based feedback, we've identified the need for additional school police officers, staff to support student behavioral needs and academic programs, co-curricular and athletic staff, additional bus drivers, and some maintenance and operations positions to maintain our school facilities. As you can see from the pie chart, heavy emphasis has been on student safety, student social emotional needs, and student academic needs. These areas total 74% of all newly proposed positions. As you heard earlier, tremendous progress has been made and this process will continue with funds allocated through the 2016 referendum. Funds committed to each school have and will remain. However, the scope of each school project has been reduced due to inflation and remaining 2016 projects will also be impacted. Since 2016, the construction market in central Indiana has experienced unusual rates of inflation at 15 to 18%. A thriving construction environment creates competition for skilled workers and material shortages, driving up the cost of labor and overall construction costs. This situation is expected to continue and unfortunately will impact potential future projects. During the past six months, Washington Township facilities have undergone an in-depth evaluation by architects, engineers, and construction managers. These design and construction professionals identified deficiencies and space shortfalls in the existing buildings beyond what was planned to be addressed in the scope of the 2016 projects. Highlighted here are some of the key deficiencies identified through this evaluation. One area of deficiency is still the need for additional improvements in traffic flow at various sites, especially on our central campus. Just imagine, what would morning drop off and afternoon pickup look like with major improvements, separating buses and cars and shoring up the long line on 86th Street? Another identified need is with our athletic sites and facilities as these were evaluated recently and were rated an F across the board. Full details of this assessment are on our district website. We continue to have needs to expand student support program space, such as our alternative programs and our preschool and child care programs. As mentioned, the cost of inflation 
has unfortunately reduced the scope of the 2016 projects, which has left facility needs unmet. The images shown here represent a sample of some of the critical needs that can be found throughout the district. Condemned and unsafe sports facilities, inaccessible playground equipment, and outdated casework and furniture do not provide optimal learning environments, therefore limiting our students' opportunities to thrive. In addition, failing and inefficient mechanical systems and deteriorating building facades increase utility and ongoing maintenance costs, which further reduces our ability to update facilities. To reiterate the rising cost of inflation, which caused a reduction in the 2016 scope and by not including such items as athletic improvements and the need to create a centralized service center for transportation or expansion of student support programs has created a need to seek additional funding support. You may be wondering at this part of the presentation exactly what is in this, all of the future needs in the 2016 work for the school site that I live near or that my children attend. This is an example site plan that we are creating for every single school. On the left column, you will see that we will outline per school site the 2016 construction referendum commitments that we have made. Staying in the left column, we will also highlight in red any scope areas we are unable to fulfill due to the unprecedented high cost of construction inflation. On the right column, we will identify future needs of that facility these are scope items that were never included in the 2016 referendum projects. This is all brand new renovations and improvements per each school. Now that you have heard about our year's worth of study and community feedback on our future needs for the district and we have outlined for you our future staff and facility needs, you may be wondering, when are you going to ask the community for these additional property tax funds? We are considering May 2020 for this next referenda. Why May 2020, you may ask? Well, you have to understand as a community that whenever we put on the ballot a referendum, the school district does not receive those funds until the following calendar year. So for instance, if the potential May 2000 20 referendum is approved by the community, Washington Township would not receive those property tax funds until 2021. So why not in 2021, you might ask? Just wait until then to ask the community. Well, there are no elections in 2021, which means if we don't have a 2020 referendum, we will have to wait until 2022, which would mean if successfully passed, we would not receive those property tax funds until 2023, which would be very late and have significant negative impacts to our staffing abilities, our facilities, which ultimately mean negative impacts to our students. There is good news, however. Washington Township still has one of the lowest tax rates in all of Marion County and surrounding counties. This chart shows that Washington Township is the second lowest in Marion County and the third lowest in Marion County and surrounding counties with our tax rate. We know we have shared a wealth of information throughout this presentation with you regarding the future needs of Washington Township schools in order to maintain our success. This slide summarizes all of our future needs for staff and facilities. So to summarize, our future needs for staff are to maintain our current social workers, maintain our current staff levels, increase teacher wages, increase wages for our classified staff, make some compensation adjustments to identified positions so that we remain competitive, and add staff to support our student needs primarily for safety, social, emotional, and academic needs. With our construction or facility future needs, we need additional support for the 2016 projects due to the unprecedented increase in the cost of inflation for construction. In addition, 
we have looked at the future of our schools and determined areas that were never included in the 2016 projects that will secure the future of our school facilities, including all schools, additional renovations, student program expansion, and a transition for our central service center. If we are unable to address the future staff needs we have identified for you today, there are implications for Washington Township Schools. We will be unable to add additional school police officers to our school to increase student safety. We will have to reduce two to four administrative positions over two years and 50 to 60 teacher positions within the next two years, and that could significantly result in an increased class sizes district-wide. We would also have to eliminate 15 to 20 classified staff positions over the next two years, and certainly an inability to pay our staff more would hurt our ability to recruit and retain outstanding staff members that we want serving our students every day. There are additional transportation related budget considerations and implications that would happen if we're unable to address these future needs. These include altering bus schedules, which would likely make many routes much longer. And also we would have to review consideration of eliminating our after school transportation or implement a pay to ride or pay to play program. Additionally, if our future facility needs that we have identified for you in this presentation are not addressed in the future, there are some implications to Washington Township Schools. We will be unable to do additional renovations and updates to make our schools compliant and accessible for Americans with disabilities per the law. We will also not have funding for additional security facility upgrades in all of our facilities. Our current crumbling and unsafe athletic facilities will not receive additional attention that they need. And our continued Band-Aid solutions to major infrastructure problems will eventually cost taxpayers more in the long run. We also have elementary school playgrounds that will lack necessary and important safety upgrades. Utility costs will continue to drain district funds without transitions to better systems that improve our utility costs, like LED lighting that is proposed. We will be unable to improve the traffic flow at our school sites that are planned. We'll be unable to expand needed program space for some of our programs like preschool and alternative education. And in essence, we will begin to lose outstanding staff to deteriorating work environments and lose families due to poor educational and athletic facilities. So those were the implications if these future needs are not addressed. Another question the community asked is if we do support and address these future needs, how long will these supports sustain our schools? Let's go to the future staff needs. Back in 2016, when the community approved that operating referendum, per law, that referendum was only good for seven years. The law has now changed, which allows an eight-year operating referendum. So if the proposed referendum for May 2020 is approved by our community, it would sustain our staff needs through 2028 with funding. But just like we're doing now, we're looking ahead to the future, the district would have to begin reviewing strategic operating needs in the 2026-27 school year in anticipation for those funds ending in 2028. Please note that if supported in May 2020 with a potential referendum, we would terminate the 2016 operating referendum and begin this new eight-year referendum to support staff. Additionally, with our 2020 potential construction referendum, that would sustain our facilities from needing major renovations or major improvements for the next 20 or 30 years. The board has taken a very thoughtful and deliberate approach to this referendum. My fellow board members include, standing in the back left to right, Mr. Bill Turner, then you see Dr. Woodson and also Alexander Curlin in the front, Tony Deswarner, Wanda Thruston, and myself. 
we have looked at this topic and talked about it in terms of planning for the future over time throughout the past year at numerous public meetings as shown on the slide. We've come to the conclusion that we believe this referendum is the best direction for our district. The state requires the district to hold two public meetings on the referendum. The first will be Wednesday, November 13th at 6 p.m. The second will be Wednesday, December 11th at 6 p.m. This second meeting will include a vote by the board on the referendum. Pending the outcome of that vote, the referendum would then go to the community on Tuesday, May 5th, 2020. As superintendent of schools for Washington Township, I appreciate the time you have taken to listen to this important presentation as we plan for the future success of Washington Township Schools. This presentation and video is made available on our website and you are welcome to share it with others. If you want to remain engaged in this process, however, we ask that you go to the website on this slide or scan the QR code with your camera on your cell phone and fill in the information so we can keep you updated on this very important process. I look forward to working collaboratively with you to plan for the future success of our schools.